All right, so we just got done doing our uh, arbitraging a few days later. Um, now we're gonna go through and we're actually gonna list this stuff on Amazon. So first step is we're gonna go to our Seller Central dashboard. We're gonna come on in here, go to go over inventory. We're gonna go to uh, add a product. From here, the most reliable way to find anything is of course by the UPC. So we're just gonna go in here and we're gonna type in our UPC. And I've already searched this one before, so I'm just gonna go ahead and search for that one. Just double check, make sure it's the right one, and then go through, sell yours. All right, so a few things. Um, one thing that's absolutely required is you have to have some kind of a SKU, so you can just kind of make this up, just make sure it's unique. So for this one, I'm just gonna put uh, Skylanders hyphen chaos, just something unique about the product. Go through condition, ours is of course brand new. Um, and then pricing, we're gonna have to choose our pricing. So for pricing, that's of course a really important decision for retail arbitrage. If you price pricing correctly, you're gonna lose money. So one thing you can do is you can go in and you can always look at the current buy box price. Um, whenever, we were look, we're, whenever we were in our retail establishment, the price was somewhere around $9, but now it's gone down to $5.95 because Amazon is selling it. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna look at the competition and then see how many other people are FBAing. Because eventually, because it's a fast moving product, Amazon's gonna run out of stock and that's whenever we're there to make our profit margin. So it says on Amazon that we have about 50 people that are selling it. Then you can go through and you can look at only Prime, narrows it down, and then we have you know just a few sellers that are before our mark. Um, then right here we have 899, that's a pretty good profit margin. If we look at it, if we sell it for 899, and our unit cost is about $3, then our profit is going to be $1.62, which is, that's, that's an okay profit margin, that's not bad. Um, always wanna make sure that you're not pricing too low, otherwise you're gonna be losing money and that defeats the purpose. And then we can also look in here, Camel, Camel, Camel is a really good resource, kinda like see the sales, um, sales rank over time, see the price history. Looks like lowest has been at is somewhere around $4, and on average or at the highest, around $8. So whenever all those $8 sellers sell out, then they go up to $9, that's whenever we're gonna wanna swoop in. So we're gonna wanna price this at uh, 8.99, match that other guy right there, and save and finish. All right, so the next screen right here, we're just gonna like choose our barcode type. Of course, we're normal, so we're gonna choose Amazon barcode. We're gonna hit save and continue. So here on our next screen, uh, we're gonna choose what kind of um, shipping plan we're gonna choose. Uh, right now we have more individual products, we only have quantity nine, we don't have like a case of them, so we're gonna choose individual products, but if you actually had like a case, like a whole box of 24 from the manufacturer, you'd wanna choose case packs, but just because we're going individual, we're gonna choose that option, then we're gonna continue on to choose our shipping plan. Also make sure that your shipping from address is correct in case there are any problems. All right, continue shipping plan. All right, then our next screen, um, we choose our quantity. We have quantity nine, so we're just gonna enter that in. Quantity nine and continue. Uh, so now we're here at this next screen. So then all we need to do is just go on and continue. And then ready to go. See now this product is all ready to go, all ready to ship out. We just need to print labels. So because we have more products that we need to add to our shipment, we're just gonna go back up here and we're going to start the process all over again. Go back up to inventory and add a product. And we're just gonna start from there. So one thing whenever you're going through and um, adding stuff to the same shipment, one thing that you need to be careful of is making sure that you do add it to the same shipment and you don't open up new shipments for every new product that you add. So here from this screen, I choose barcode type, just normal Amazon barcode, uh, save and continue. And here's the part where you have to be careful. You want to make sure that right up here, you do add to an existing shipping plan. Right now we've just been working on one, so we only have one, you choose that. And then add it to shipping plan and continue. And from there, we just go through, and we go through and we add a new product. All right, so now I've got all of our inventory added in. So we're just gonna go through, double check all of our quantities are correct. Don't wanna send in the wrong quantity. Um, go through here, click continue. All right, so once you hit this next screen, then you're just gonna go through, uh, make sure everything's correct, make sure your ship from address is correct. Go through, continue onto your next screen. And now that you have all your stuff, then here you're gonna go through print your labels. Now there's several different label sizes that you can choose. Um, the one that we chose is kind of like this one. You can just pick it up anywhere. It's just every brand, um, 30 labels per sheet, one inch by two five eighths inch. On Amazon, there's a lot of different variations you can get. You can either buy them from Amazon, you can buy them from Office Depot, Walmart, just forever. Just make sure you get the right size and the right dimensions that everything matches up. And once you get everything done, then you're just gonna go ahead and put these into your, uh, your printer and then hit print labels for this page and then go from there.
All right, so now that you've got your labels, um, you're just gonna take it, it has like the title right there so you can match it up. And right below the bar barcode, it actually has the FN SKU right there. So if you're ever confused, one title might be the same as another product, you can look at the FN SKU and match it up with your screen there. Uh, these ones, fortunately, we can tell by the title, so everything's fine. Let's see, so our first product right here. Let's find the sticker for it. Here we go. You're gonna take it off, and then the one thing you wanna make sure that you do is Amazon, their fulfillment center, they have a long assembly line, everything's completely automated, so they automatically scan it. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you cover up the barcode with your FN SKU sticker. So if you don't cover up the barcode, then it's gonna cause errors, and we just wanna make everything easy, because we don't wanna make anything hard or get anything returned back to us. So always make sure that you cover up the UPC uh, with your sticker right there. All right, so once you've got all of your labels printed out, you've got everything, uh, all, your, all your UPCs covered up, got everything labeled up and ready to go, then you're just gonna go ahead and continue on to the next screen, and that's when it's going to tell you what fulfillment center is going to go to. Now, sometimes uh, Amazon will actually split up your fulfillment centers because you know if they have a lack of inventory in one fulfillment center and they have an abundance in another one, they're gonna to wanna to have their stock the most evenly distributed, so sometimes it's gonna split your shipments, which of course is gonna make it a little bit more expensive, but in this case, we lucked out, all of us going to the same fulfillment center, so that's gonna save us on shipping cost, which is really, really nice. Um, so once you've got everything good, then you're just gonna go through, um, everything looks good, right shipping from address, and then we're just gonna go through and approve shipment. All right, so once you got everything all ready to go, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna find a box, you know, ship everything out in. Um, if you, one thing to be careful about is if you're using a box like from Amazon or any other box that's already been used, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you either remove these labels or you kind of like, you know, scratch them out. Just like with anything that you're shipping, make sure the UPS doesn't scan the wrong label and you know send it back to you and mess up your shipment or something. So just really just scratch out anything with a barcode, anything that could be mistaken. And whenever you print out your label, you can actually use it to cover up any previous label. So that's just one thing to really keep in mind whenever you're doing shipments. So then we're just gonna take all of our stuff and put it on in here. All right, so whenever you're shipping out your FBA shipment, just like shipping out anything, uh, you're gonna need to know the dimensions of the box and the weight of it. There are a few different carriers you can use. UPS is the main one, they're generally the cheapest, so that's who we're gonna go through today. Just gonna go ahead and measure, let's see, so we're measuring about 26 by uh, 16 and a half by uh, about 21 and a half right there. You just go ahead and round up on all your stuff. Just use your normal shipping scale. You can buy these for less than 20 bucks on eBay or Amazon. You can take it, make sure that the whole weight of the box is on the scale, and it's centered on the scale there. This box is bigger than the scale, so you're not actually gonna be able to see the number very well. So you have a little hold button right here. You just kinda kinda press that. And then take your box off. Looks like we're weighing 14 pounds, nine ounces. So you can just round up to 15 pounds right there. All right, so now that you got everything packed up in our box, I'm um, gonna go ahead and go to work on shipment. All right, so like I said, there are a few different carriers that we can choose from. UPS is gonna be the main one. They're generally gonna be the cheapest. So we're gonna go with them. We only have one box. We're not shipping any pallets or anything, so we're just gonna go with normal small parcel delivery. Um, you can always go through. Always a good idea to make sure that your inventory levels look correct. So for example, like if we had accidentally put two instead of one, then you could go back up here, review and modify units. You could change it, then as soon as you hit hide units, it'll go ahead and save that for us. All of our stuff looks correct, so we're gonna enter it in. Our box weighed rounding up 15 pounds, and it was 17 by 22 by 26. All right, and then confirm. Good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and calculate our price for us. All right, so our price is gonna be $8.67 to ship. And like I said, normally that's a lot cheaper than if you're shipping a box yourself, just because um, Amazon has a deal with UPS so they get discounted rates. So I'm gonna go ahead and I agree, accept charges. All right, then we're gonna go through and we're gonna print our box labels and just downloads it as a PDF. We're gonna open that up and just go ahead and print those out. We only have one box, so we just go ahead and print that out. Then once that's printed, then we're going to go through and complete shipment. 
All right, so now that we got everything done, um, we can go ahead and package up our box and I'm gonna go ahead and mark this as shipped. And all right, so now we just gotta uh, take our label, tape it on our box. It says to try not to cover up the seam, I guess just that way it doesn't get messed up or anything. And just kind of completely seal it on there and you're good to go. Take it to your carrier and that's it. All right, so as you can see, we just went ahead and dropped off our box, so it was pretty easy. Um, all you really need is a shipping scale, some tape and a box, and uh, your inventory to ship out, and that's it, and a printer. And uh, so that was it. Really, if you have those few things, which are really easy to get, really easy to come by, then you can ship stuff to FBA and you can become an Amazon seller.